Again, uh, when, when Reese and I uh, had young children, one of the requirements uh -oh. for graduation uh, for com some, <laughs> some computer science majors was that they had to occasionally babysit for us. Uh, at least that's the way we put it to them. And uh, here's something you probably don't know about Mike. Aside from being a, a brilliant computer scientist, he was also a varsity athlete at Oberlin. And he was a member of the swim team. And uh, something, some peculiar, uh, peculiar thing that swim, swimmers often do is they shave their heads uh, at uh, times when they have to speed swim or whatever. And so one day Mike wandered in uh, looking, resembling something like a cue ball. Uh, when he babysat for my kids, uh, my boys, uh, there was no problem. I think they, they accepted him like that and it was fine. But when he had babysat for Reese's daughter, who, by the way, is a grad student here at, uh, in the School of Music right now, uh, something else happened. And I'll let Reese finish it. <laughs> well, I think she, I think she ran, in, ran into the back room, slammed the door, and wouldn't come out. He absolutely terrified her, and he could never babysit for her again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that was very yeah, was, Is that the way it went? That's what I heard. Anyway. So I, I think before you leave, you ought to try to find um, Sarah here on campus and you know, show her your real self. <laughs> <laughs> or shake your head first. And or shake your head and see if she's still <laughs> You weren't scared of him. That's the difference. Okay, uh, we've come to our last talk. It's uh, Matthias Felison and Robbie Fidler, an investigation of contracts as projection. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we are on page two of the program. Uh, all of you know that there's a start time for every talk, and there's an end time for every talk, and hours is 8 o'clock. <laughs> you all know what that is? Those are the minute warnings, we don't need them anymore. <laughs> and, the, and, and the table is right here, so you can't leave the room. <laughs> so, with that said, we need a little bit of... Uh... How about a bathroom break at 7? <laughs> That's called the seventh inning stretch in my lecture. And I actually do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, remind me. Okay, Mike. 7 7 15. So. You can put that box here. What do you power? nice questions. And all you have to say is five. What's this about? Five. <laughs> I give up. Let's start over. Starting over is a good idea. <laughs> so how are you? Is this a question? <laughs> yes, of course. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a number from me? Isn't that obvious by now? <laughs> One. If you say one, then I say two. What if I had said two? I would have said three. Mm -hmm. Three. Four. Oh, how interesting. And when I say four, do you say five? Five. This is an 
an interesting game. Oh yes, a game it is. <laughs> Do you want to play again? Sure. What's your number? Seven. Forty-nine. Three. Nine. I got it. Eight. Hey, hey, say something. <laughs> I can't believe that. Nine. Is the game over? Yes, it is. <laughs> Do you really only respond to seven and nine? Three? Yep, that's all I do. Do you always respond to a finite number of numbers? No, not always, but for this game, that's what I did. Oh, let me see. Sometimes you respond with the same number to everything I say. Yep. And sometimes you respond with a question for a number. Yep. <laughs> but this time you gave answers only for a finite number of questions. Exactly. Huh. Do you know infinite games? Try. New game? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't had my snack yet. Oh, pack something. We'll take it along. I, I go look for mine. <laughs> okay, we'll take some bread. Looks like a good beginning. I'm ready. So am I. Ask away. Does it work just like before? Could we play any other way? Five. Twenty-five. Six twenty-five. Three nine zero oh, six two five. Six one zero oh, nine zero oh, eight. Three seven three two zero oh, eight five eight four four six four. One five two five eight seven eight nine zero oh, six two five. Two three two eight three zero six four three six five three eight six nine six two eight nine zero six two five. Thank goodness Scheme has big numbs. <laughs> Do you know all the answers? So long as you give me a number, I'll give you one back. Seriously? Well, as long as my doctor's scheme can calculate. Okay. <laughs> Do you always square the number? Of course. Do all infinite games work that way? Yes. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes and no? What's that supposed to mean? There are two kinds of infinity. Two? Sure, two. What did you expect? Well, one kind exhausted me. How can anyone cope with two? One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. <laughs> <laughs> you must be hungry. Oh, yes. Let's pack some more. Okay. <laughs> Peanut butter. Sounds delish. So, to infinity and beyond. <laughs> We're going to have to work up to infinite games. Okay. How so? Well, did you know that we can play a game within our game? No way. Can that game interact with the actual game? Sure. That's the point. Whoa, that's cool. How does it work? Well, we start our game as usual, but when I ask you for a number, you can start a game within it. So instead of answering you with a number, I could ask you back for a number first. Yes, exactly. Are you playing a number game again? Aren't we always? What's your number? Five. In that case, my number is four. What if I had said 13? 12, of course. And 21? 20. Then my answer is 36. I like games within games. Can I change my answers for the game within? That's right. Of course. You can I add your first number again? 5. Well, now I'm going to say 6. If I said 13. Here it 
is 42. Don't we agree that there are, didn't we agree that there are two kinds of infinity? Yes, we did. I haven't seen the second one yet. No, not yet. Oh, why not? Do you want to play again? <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> this time, I will change what I say. Fair enough. I will stick with my game plan. Great. Have you started it? Why do you ask? Can I have your first number again? This time, it's zero. Huh. Then you get one. And if I say two? You get three. And for four? Five, obviously. Six? Seven? Eight? Nine? Ten? Eleven? Twelve? Hold, hold, hold. Am I going to give me an answer? Twelve? I got it. Time out. Will you just keep posing new questions with new numbers? Of course. Uh, forever. Forever and ever. Until death does it apart. <laughs> Something like that. Or you part. <laughs> I see what you mean by infinite. Do you really? The first game. The first game. <laughs> <laughs> the first game is infinitely wide. And the second one? Is infinitely deep. Exactly. Infinitely deep means you don't stop talking. Right. <laughs> I will keep talking. I know, and I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, let's continue packing. All right. Here's the jelly. <laughs> Looks yummy. Tastes even better. It's time to move on. What do you mean? I have seen two infinities in one day. What else is there? Lots more. More than infinity. Now I'm curious. Did you know we can play game games? Game games? What's that about? It's a game, but instead of exchanging numbers, we exchange games. Are you serious? I thought number games were exhausting. Well, it's not too bad. Game games are played with number games. So game... Games, game, numbers game. Bingo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what's your name? Game. <laughs> I can't know until I know your game. Do you have a game plan? Uh, sure, sure. That's good enough. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. If you understand my game, we need to play it. Oh, okay. What's the number from your game? Oh, it's time to use your game now. Do you remember it? Uh, yes. But to play my game, I need a number from you. Oh, well, in that case, my game plan needs a number from you. <laughs> Obviously. Five. Then I'll use five in your game. Then I say eight. As do I. Eight. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling of deja vu. <laughs> Want to play again? <laughs> uh, sure. I'll give you seven this time for your game. Then I will hand you a seven for your game plan. Well, then I say seven, ten. Me too. Ten. One more time. I'll use zero this time. An O to you. I say three to O. Me three. Three. Mm -hmm. That feeling is getting stronger. I think I want to change my game. Okay. Our game game stays the same, but I've got a new number game. Okay. What's the number from your game now? Depends on the number in your game plan, naturally. Well, my game needs a number from you to start. Then so do I. <laughs> right, three. So I'm going to use three in your game. I say nine if you say three. What a coincidence. Mine too. Nine. It's still 
déjà vu. Uh, okay, it's déjà vu all over again. <laughs> Wanna play again? <laughs> sure, I'll supply seven to your game this time. Then I say seven to you. My game gives you a 49 for seven. Oh, let me guess, so that's yours. Yes, 49. <laughs> Your games were always just echoes of mine. What can I say? I learned in school to apply myself. Chapter <laughs> 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 2. And I promise you, seven didn't stretch, so please write. Somebody sing, stretch. <laughs> 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 Definitely do. Are you sure you enjoy them? Oh, uh, they're prime time entertainment for me. I like primes too. <laughs> Want to play a prime game? Primes? What do you mean? Seven. Is this an answer? Seven. <laughs> I got it. Seven. Seventeen. Seven. Okay, that's what I thought. Four. Seven. One more. Nine. Seven. <laughs> Time out. You're responding to prime for everything I say to you. Yes. The same old prime every time. <laughs> <clears throat> Can we play this game even if you don't always respond with the same answer? Sure. Why don't you try? Five. It's a prime. Seven. It's a prime too. Eleven. 13, 14, 23, 3, 2, that's even. Sure, it's even, but it's a prime. <laughs> okay, I get it. You'll give me a prime when I give you a prime. Yes, that's it. Don't you like primes? Sure, but we could play the game with evens, couldn't we? Why not? 2, one, four, two, six, three. This is easy to understand. I gave you an even. And I give you some number back. Okay. Want to play giving even, getting even? Would I? <laughs> two, four, four, eight, six. Nine. Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> I got even with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, nine is odd. Sure it's odd. I know we're supposed to give each other even numbers. I just wanted to see what you would do if I made a mistake. My fault. <laughs> I'm glad you see the error of your ways. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see the odd couple? We all want. One. Three. Three. Seven. Four. Hey, what is this about? Of course, one to one. <laughs> yes, but this just means it's all your fault. Yeah, it's my fault. We agreed to the odd game, and we gave you an even. Glad you caught it. Sure. Your mistakes are easy to catch. Uh-huh. Are you sure? I think so. Why? What if you play a game that contains another game? Sounds tricky. Let's take a break for a banana. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All set? We need to agree on what game we play, games we play. How about you play the game within the game as an odd odd game? What else could it be? Can you give me a number? 
5. Then I say 7. What would you have said if I replied with 9? Then I would have said 11. Good. My answer is 23. Neat. Can we try another game within the game? Sure. Can we play even, even, and then I? Sounds like a great game. Ready? What else? What's your number? Four. Then I say eight. Six. Twelve. What if I had said eight? I would have said sixteen. Seventeen? You sure? <coughs> yeah, it's odd. But it was your turn to give me a number. It's still a game within a game. It's my output, and I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> You're a party pooper. Me? Party pooper? It's you who gave me the wrong kind of number. No way! I don't believe it. I mean, your fault. Why should I? You can't, even tr can't even trust your friends anymore. Friend? You? <laughs> How about we find a referee? You mean one of those guys with the striped suit? I'm not sure we can find one of those here. Indiana is not just a prison. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Guy can help us. Can you trust people who work on languages with curly braces and semicolons? How about Mitch? <laughs> <laughs> no way. He might backtrack on us. <laughs> what about Olin? With Olin, you never know if he has been hitting the jack. <laughs> Yeah, he, he might have that Uzi in his bag. <laughs> well, maybe Kent can help us. There's no such thing as a trustworthy compiler. How about Bruce? Wasn't he a Microsoft? Did you ever get over that? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> How about Shrira? He thinks a lot. He's from Brown. He might start reflecting on that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are we out of people? Matthew! <laughs> Thank God you came! Oh, it was in my stars. Lucky stars. Do you understand the game? Uh, everyone does. Okay. Do you know why we're arguing? Sure, you can't figure out who fault, whose fault it was. So, who do you think went wrong? Both of you. You should have called a referee in earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, why don't we repeat our first game and have him practice? Practice? Sure, it's practice for the referee. Are you ready for the game of evens? I am. Am I? He's giving you a two, and that's even. Four. You're getting back a four, that's even. Four. Uh, he's giving you a four, and that's even too. Eight. Uh, you're getting back an eight, and it is even. Six. He's giving you a one, and that's even. Three. And his response is three, and I say that's even. Now he's giving you a 3, which is also odd. No sweat. 7. Uh, his response is 7, and a certified odd. 4 is even, and we're playing the odd couple game. I thought we were three of us, but I'm always glad when it's his fault. Uh, it is his fault. Okay, I admit it readily. I think he can do the job. Good. I feel ready for the big one. Higher. <laughs> I think we need to believe. Are we the winner? <laughs> I think we're uh, going to need something to read, and, and it's right there. And All right, read to it, Chief. Indeed. We were playing an even, even game within a game when you called, when we called the end. And what do you want back? An odd. Yes, I remember. And, uh, 
Uh, now I'm really ready. <coughs> what's his number? Uh, he wants to know what your number is. Oh, what's his number? Uh, okay, what's your number? It sounds like a fair question. It's his turn. Ask him for him. Uh, hey, what's your number? Four. Okay, his response is four, and that's even. If he says four, I say eight. Okay, eight. He says eight, and that's even. What if he had? What if I had said six? Okay, his response is six, and that's even. Oh, six we get to dozen. Okay, he says twelve, and that's even. What if I had said eight? Uh, his response is eight, and that's even. He says sixteen. Sixteen's even. And what about seventeen? His response is 17, and that is a, uh, that is a, uh, you just cheated. No, I didn't. I can say what I want. Uh, you're supposing that means you must give him an even number. So it's my fault. But what if I'd been giving the final answer? Uh, in that case, uh, the game would be over and no one would have cheated. Man, he is good. Told you. You must have learned that at school. Just like I did? <laughs> I also learned to apply myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. Can we talk? You mean without me? <laughs> is he asking you questions? Yeah, he is. What kind of questions? He's asking me questions like you used to ask. Is he giving you answers? Yeah, he is. What kind of answers? Answers like you used to give me. Uh, me too. I think he's playing a game. He's definitely playing a game with me. Is it a number game? Yes. Yes, it's a number game. What kind of game is he playing with you? Also a number game. <laughs> in fact, I think I heard an echo in here. Yeah, he just passed my response to you. And mine back to you. So I gave him my game. And I gave him my game. And he played them together. Like in our game game? Exactly! Boy, that means we could have agreed on a game game and played it ourselves. Yeah. Was he playing the same game game that we two played? It was very similar until he blew that whistle. <laughs> yeah, that whistle was special. So, referees always play echo games, but with whistles. <laughs> yes, we do. And on that note, it's time for our picnic. <laughs> Yes.